This is my one year long term review of the True Trainers Smart Rollers. These expensive iron rollers are unlike anything else that I've tried in the past. Over the last five, six years, I've been on direct drive trainers, I've been on wheel on trainers, I've been on dedicated indoor cycling bikes. And all of these are that are the most popular option that we see on Zwift or on uh, trainer road lately people ride them because because they're affordable it's what everyone has and because they're just like so easy to get your hands on them they all come with sort of the same drawbacks and is they get uncomfortable on the longer rides the ride feel is a bit awkward because the bike is not moving yes yeah, some diary drive trainer has some wiggle from side to side and from front to back but nothing like or nothing coming close to the experience of riding these iron rollers. So coming around 1400 US dollar, of course it's pricey, but they are made in the US. It's all machine and it's all developed and it's all still made in Indiana, if I'm correct. So here's five reasons why you should consider these smart rollers over your direct drive trainers or a full indoor setup. Reason number one is definitely the added comfort riding rollers. Not being restricted on one axis, your bike can fully move from left to right for about like two feet wide. If not. You're really allowing your body to tilt your bike comfortably. You can get out of the saddle, you get some movement. And I think that when you ride a direct drive trainer, you ride on a smart bike, your, your hips and your lower back and your upper back are stuck into this one axis. When you add the second axis from left to right, you just add so much more comfort. On my stage indoor bike, I just cannot ride more than an hour. My lower back hurts like hell. On my direct drive trainer, I can ride maybe an hour and a half before I start to get uncomfortable. But with these rollers, I can do three hours, no problem. I can get my endurance in. It's super comfortable. Reason number two, you do have some realistic ride feel. And this is one of the most important part of indoor cycling. We want to mimic the movement that we're doing outside. We want to be, we want to feel like we are riding outside. So it makes it riding indoor more pleasurable. So when you hop on those rollers, you have to trust me on that. It's almost like the same riding outside. It's almost like it's too perfect to ride on those rollers because they are made of aluminum. The, the barrel are perfectly round and smooth. So you don't have like road vibration or road crack. So it's almost like riding on smooth, freshly paved road with a tailwind. It's just amazing. Reason number three, you can do your interval with ease. So the roller's resistance goes up to a thousand watts. So for me doing my interval workouts, going 500 watts for 30 seconds, then back down or, or some small sprints to 750 watts, just feels super natural. You have to get used to ride the roller with your bike. It's the handling is a bit more tricky than riding outside, but after like a couple of sprints, after a couple of indoor training sessions, you do get the hang of it and you can really start to push your intervals seated or out of the bike. Reason number three, there's no bike swapping parts. You don't have to take off wheels or change something to your bike. So whenever you're in this in-between season in fall or in winter, where you still ride outside from time to time when the weather allows it, your bike is always ready to go under rollers or outside. You don't have to take a wheel off. You don't have to change the cassette. You don't have to dismount your bike. It's ready to go outside as soon as you finish your indoor session. It's just great. And reason number four, the build quality of these smart rollers are just on par with something I've never seen. You can definitely see that everything is made and machine in the US by really high end machine. The guys at True Trainer really have the emphasis of making a high end, high quality product. And as you can see, it just looks so good, especially here in my dream garage with the black cabinets, the grandles. It's matching perfectly the aesthetic that I'm going for. And so it looks good. It's high quality. It's going to last a, li a lifetime. And yeah, they're amazing. And reason one, number five, why these smart rollers are game changer is they have a self generator inside the rear flywheel. So as soon as you up on those rollers, uh, you're going to run the generator. It's going to catch some of that energy that you're sending into your bike and it's going to power itself. It's going to power the N plus or Bluetooth chip. So it does connect directly to your Zwift. Trainer Road, Ruby, Indie, Velo, any N plus Bluetooth game or computer software, uh, these rollers gonna con connect straight to it. And the power meter in this rear roller is actually quite accurate. Some other roller brands has power meter and they are just off the hook. 
not accurate. Some of them just had like 50 to 100 watts. So people running those rollers think they have a huge FTP, but when actually they don't have a huge FTP, it's their rollers that are just not accurate. So with these rollers, it is accurate. You do have some great ride feel, especially if you go to erg mode, where whenever you're climbing or going downhill, the resistance change itself. So it really improved the ride feeling. So no power cables going into these rollers is just a plus. It just makes everything neater and easier to use. But of course, this product is not perfect. It's not for everyone. So here are like the top drawbacks that I've realized over the last year riding the rollers. Downside number one, the learning curve to ride rollers is scary. Definitely not everyone can just hop on them, start riding and start training. You do have to learn how to ride those rollers. You have to use a wall. You have to use a friend. You have to get used to the fact that you need to add some torque to the rollers so the front wheel can spin. And then you need to sort of learn how to keep your balance on it. It's not that difficult. Everyone can learn how to ride rollers, but it just like if you if you have a friend coming over for a workout and you just want to hop in your rollers, they might not be able to do it right away. But if it's your rollers, you learn them. And after that, it's just super easy. A second downside with the rollers, if, if you're racing on Zwift or any other platform and you want to do that 100% all out sprint at the end of the races, you want to sprint so hard that you can't see anything. You're about to fall off the bike. The type of sprint that you cannot really do outside because it will be too dangerous. Those rollers, you kind of have to dial down your all out effort. So for me, usually on the stage bike, I could do 1300 watts. On the rollers, I could maybe do like a thousand for like five seconds, but I just have to limit my ability a notch down because you still need to handle your bike, which um, of course your spin is going to get better and better over the months using the rollers. But I just feel like is it's slightly limiting when it comes to racing on Zwift. Downside number three, they are slightly pricey. They are in that same range of some very high end direct drive trainers. Like just everything is well built. It's well machined. They're, these rollers, they, I don't think they are, there's a single piece of plastic in there, but like I could be wrong, but it's all metal. It's all CNC machine. It's all made like from super high end aluminum and material. So it's going to last a long time, but they are slightly a bit more pricey than your mid range direct draft trainer that you can get on at your local bike shop. And maybe a fourth downside I would say is it's a bit more difficult to do something else than riding your bike. So <laughs> let me explain. So when you're riding winter on Zwift or you want to do your endurance ride base miles in the winter, you're you hop on your bike, you're on your phone, you could change something on the computer while pushing the pedals. You can just lay back, uh, drink, have a drink, eat something with your hands. While riding the rollers, the you almost always need an end on the handlebar, so you only have one hand to do all your extra stuff. It's a bit more difficult to go like no handlebars. It's a bit difficult to do something else while riding. So, which is, I mean, the point of riding is to ride. It's not to be on Instagram, but it, being on Instagram makes riding zone two in the winter is slightly easier. So, so whenever you're shopping for these small rollers, there are some add-ons you could get to make your life easier. Uh, the one that I recommend a lot are those like sort of rollerblade wheels. You just clip in at the front roller. And what they do is they allow you to stay inside of the roller and not roll off. Uh, it did happen to me. You get a bit distracted. You get a bit like dizzy from your effort and your front wheels. I like, just move left and right. And if you go too much left or too much right, you're going to hit those rollerblade wheels. It's going to push you like inside of the roller again. So it did save a couple bales. Make sure that you either have always a wall next to you, a rail next to you. And as soon as you start to develop the ability with the rollers, you can start to remove those. Uh, I can ride the rollers with nothing next to me. I can start on those rollers without grabbing a rail or grabbing a wall. All this, of this comes with experience. A second add-on they sell is a front fork attachment. Uh, to be honest, I've tried it out and I mean, it, it, it's good to get started on those rollers, but spend another hundred bucks on that. I mean, might as well just learn and like learn how to ride the rollers because if you have this front fork attachment, you just you're just killing the purpose of these rollers it's to be free is to move left and right is to be comfortable. And the last attachment I think you guys should get is the platform that could go uh, right in the middle of the rollers. Uh, this will allow you to put a feet down. There's more space. If you don't have that platform, you can still use the side of the rail to mount your foot on and hop on the rollers. 
but I feel it's just a bit more safer and it's a bit more easier to get onto the rollers when you have that platform. It's another add-on, it's a bit more money. I don't, I feel you, if you had to choose between the platform or the rollerblade wheels, I would just go for the rollerblade wheels. But if you have the budget, get that platform. So this wraps up my full in-depth review about the True Trainer Smart Rollers. Again, it's a product that I love. It's a product that I'm going to ride all winter long, except for Zwift races. Uh, it's perfect for intervals, endurance ride. It's it's just comfortable. It's a great product to have. Kind of pricey, but there's a discount in the description down below. So make sure you use that. It's going to support my YouTube channel. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget thumbs up, subscribe. And my name is Charles, and I will see you on the road or into the next video. Peace.